Good evening. Uh, I have a reservation. My name is Zarkin. Zarkin? Oh, dear. Fame is such a fleeting thing. Zarkin, I don't believe... Louis Zarkin. You must be new here. Perhaps um, you don't remember me. You're the Louis Zarkin, the writer, aren't you, sir? No, I'm the Louis Zarkin, who just gave you $20. Thank you, sir. Just a moment. I'm sure they all think I'm your mistress, hmm? Don't flatter yourself. The ones that know me know that I never sleep with my leading ladies, at least until after the last day of shooting. It gives them too much power. Now, don't forget the Tibetan yak. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, all right, all right. Elsa. Hello. Aha, the handsome prince leaps to his feet to kiss Cinderella. Whereupon she was immediately transformed into a malignant toad. I'll talk to you and I'll call you back. I've been trying to reach you all week. You never call back. Hello, Lewis. Hello, I me. didn't know you still came here. I haven't been here for years. Yeah, me too. Quite a coincidence. Huh? <laughs> You never told me that he called. You've been rather busy, haven't you? Barney and son. Call you tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Hey, you never told me she looked like that. You never asked. Thank you. Would you like a cocktail before dinner, sir? No, just bring me a bottle of champagne, please. Yes, sir. Any particular brand. Whatever you think is appropriate. Fine, thank you, sir. How am I doing? Shouldn't you go over and talk to Mr. Sheehan? I don't think so. If he hasn't come over by the time we finish the first bottle, I'll reconsider. Hello. We're about to get a peace feeler from the enemy. Lewis? I don't believe I've had the honor. Oh, I'm sorry, Barney. I could have sworn I sent you an invitation. Miss Campbell, Mr. Sheehan. Honored. My son told me I'd missed something. You did? <laughs> I can see that. Lost my guts, huh? Still writing your contracts on matchboxes. <laughs> Look, Lewis, my boy's enthused about the girl. Take him on as your assistant. Let him get his feet wet. We'll see why we can't make a nice little picture. For the boy. Uh, I'm getting old, soft in the head. <laughs> Money doesn't mean what it used to. Besides, there isn't a director in town that could teach that kid more. This uh, just mentions a deal. It doesn't say anything about figures. Well, like you said, double your last fee. You taught me one thing about this business, Barney. Only one? <laughs> What's that? Bring me another glass. Never to read the fine print until you've had a good night's sleep. Besides, I promised Miss Campbell a night off. Pretend I'm not here. Ah, like Peter says, smart girl. Can I help you, sir? Uh, no, no, thank you very much. Hi, Peter. Come on, sign it, sign it. <laughs> well, what do we eat for dinner? Funny, Barney, I had the distinct impression we'd be eating me. Hi, <laughs> Barney. Yours, uh, Elsa. Good luck. Just arrived. Excuse me. seen this. Everybody in town knew about it except Uncle Lewis. You don't get to own your own studio by following the Boy Scout manual, do you? Look, Zarkin, anybody's entitled to make the best deal they know how. Right? And if you're Barney Sheehan, that includes deceit, subterfuge, blackmail, and highway robbery. Look, if you're trying to provoke me, you're just wasting your time. Oh, you can't be provoked. What's the matter? You're too stupid. I can't believe that. Barney Sheehan, captain of industry, man of letters, scholar, and consummate thief. Look, you. Lewis, that's enough. It 
sure as hell is. I don't have to take this crap. No, you don't. You just have to make pictures. Oh, I beg your pardon. You manufacture devices, devices that are eventually sold by film foot to TV, and we all milk white before they get to market. The budget is falsified. What do we have? Foreign distribution, music corporations, publicity, prints, popcorn, popsicles, and everybody cheats on those. Murder's out and thievery's in, isn't it? <laughs> You've always got to be knocking something, haven't you? Look, if you don't like this country, what made you come here in the first place, huh? <laughs> Yeah, and I seem to remember you were pretty happy putting our dollars in your pocket. Oh, here's the blackmail section of the conversation. It's unpatriotic to argue with Barney Shear. It's downright un-American to be unkind to him. We're not talking about the country, we're talking about you. All right, so we're talking about me. Now let's talk about you. You were washed up as a director all of 20 years ago. You're nothing. And the only thing that can change that is me or someone like me. All my life, I've taken chances betting on people. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. I bet on you and I won. Not all the time. Sometimes I lost. <laughs> but winning keeps me in this business, keeps me alive, keeps us all alive, including you. So what gives you the right to sneer and act so goddamn superior, huh? I'm not sneering. You only think I'm sneering because somewhere deep down in that Neanderthal head of yours, you're vaguely aware of your abysmal ignorance. <laughs> yeah, I'm so ignorant that without me, bums like you would be making homemade movies for an audience of one. It's not your crummy intellect that keeps this business going. It's my money. Your money. All right, all right. So it's the people I get to invest. That's better. Aha. Uh -huh. But when did you last get anybody to invest in one of your pictures, huh? Look, all I want to do is produce a movie. Let's get that settled, then you guys can kill each other. No, no, the producer is there. Oh, well, what the hell are you buttoning all for? All right, all right, all right. What do you want me to do? Just make me this picture. Mm -hmm. I get the okay on final cutting. There are only four directors in town get that. Five. After seven years, the negative reverts to me. And since your network seem to think that this makes the deal so much more interesting, I want 15% off the top of any TV set. I would sooner commit suicide. <laughs> I don't have to take this crap. You certainly don't. I'll give you the story. As for Miss Campbell... Oh, sir, I think Mr. Sheehan's making you a proposition. He's suggesting that uh, you make the picture with another director. Now, that's a hell of an idea. <laughs> Barney, darling. You're so much smarter when you don't try to think. <laughs> Hasn't anybody ever told you that before? Somebody must have. You've got a deal. After we sign. Okay. Okay. But on one condition. Six months from today, that picture is finished. In the can. Okay. Congratulations, Barney, dear. I don't see... Crow on the menu. What do you have to eat, Barney? What? I'm not hungry. Auf Wiedersehen. You keep your eye on that Campbell kid. She can be very important to us. I thought you told me never to get involved with the hired help. Oh, for crying out loud. I didn't say you had to jump up and down on her. Now sign the check. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, you guys. Hey, Pop. Going straight home? Yeah. 